Hey guys, welcome back. We are working on our drag car that I have yet to name. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. We're just going to call it Project Drag Car. How about that for now? If you guys have suggestions for it, um, throw them in the comments. <laughs> even if you want to throw some jokes in there, I'll get a good laugh out of it. Like, you know, maybe Project going skidding on its roof. For 130 some odd feet. Because uh, that's probably what's going to happen. And yours truly gets behind the line. Or behind the wheel. Slow is what I'm good at. Fast is to be determined. To be determined. Hopefully this is fast. This is, for all I know this could be Project Turtle. Um, <laughs> anyways. Anyways. Let's get into the build. We are jumping into bag three. Uh, we did not get very far in the first one that was first video, I should say. Too much of me yapping, I guess. So, what do we got here? It looks like we got some arms, some body posts, some more hardware here. Bent at a shape piece of plastic. I guess and that, that probably has something to do with the body mounting. All right, let me get situated here. All right, we're jumping into arm assembly, front arm assembly. So, hope you, hopefully you guys liked the first video. Uh, still getting the hang of this build series type recordings. It's definitely different. Um, man, this has some tiny screws, like. I'm talking like tiny. Look at that. That's like. <laughs> I mean, I have to show you. Look at it. It's like SCX24 type tiny. You can already hear Sean screaming at the monitor. <laughs> Those of you that don't know who Sean is, go check out his channel, Sean's RC Adventure. He is the Yoda of driving two trucks <clears throat> at the same time it is incredible watching that man um, actually I think he's up to three trucks if I'm not mistaken and wow it's making us all look bad but good on you Sean I am definitely a fan of watching you drive it is something something else now not too sure what these screws do to be exact but uh, I guess so I'll, I'll find out they just go in there seems a little odd but okay all right so I gotta do that again on the other side obviously so I think what I'll do is I'll build one on camera and I'll do the other side off camera and that way it sort of saves. You don't want to watch me do the same thing over. So there's there's one arm right there. So I will be right back. I'm going to build the other one off camera here. All right, so confession time. I don't know if anyone caught that in that last little segment. Uh, I put the caster block on the wrong side. So I'm going to do this one. Uh, I've already fixed the one I messed up. So I'm going to do this one here. So make sure when you're putting it together. Again, I'm no expert. I didn't say well, Like I said, I said I, I'll never claim I'm an expert. But make sure you actually uh, pay attention. And maybe stop worrying about talking to a camera. <laughs> uh, building this. No, I'm grabbing the wrong driver. Ha. There we go. So, to all those expert, I'm going to use expert loosely, expert builders out there that are on YouTube, the only thing I will claim you guys are experts on is editing out your mistakes. Because everyone, I don't care who you are, when it comes to putting an RC together for the first time, you make mistakes. And I am just the 
type of guy that will own up when he makes mistakes. So there we go. There, that's better. All right, let's go. All right, let's get these on the chassis. Is it looking like a car yet? No, <laughs> we're still a little ways away from that. Let's get these pins in here. Line them up properly. There we go, there's one pin. And let's get the other side. Now, I know I said it before, but this plastic does actually feel pretty durable. Um, I do believe this car is based off of one of their short course trucks. Um, forgive me, I don't know which one. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with the uh, other product line. Again, I'm outside of my normal comfort of building. Look at these. I still can't get over these tiny screws. So tiny. Like I've, I, I took an SCX24 apart and uh, these screws are very similar in size. Like, damn. Like, not saying they're not strong and whatnot but uh they um are definitely not what i expected from a kit this size okay now it says i need some loctite on these little diny guys oh, let's get some loctite on there and we'll put that in there like so My fat hands are in the way, I apologize. I guess I should have screwed that on there first. But that's okay. That's okay. Pretty sure these tiny screws prevent the uh, pins I just put in from coming out forward. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's actually get the actual screws in there. What screws do we need? Do, 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 do. These are the screws I was expecting throughout this whole kit. I must complain a lot about screws. I, I complained about the Tamiya Phillips head screws. <laughs> the funny part is I don't complain about screws when it comes to crawlers. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm on on road car racist. Is that a thing? No. <laughs> I don't mind. Don't mind at all. Boom. And next one. All right, we got some arms on the car. So maybe this build won't be as bad. Now, I'm recording this the same night as I recorded the, uh, the first video. So you notice I have wearing the same clothes. For those of you that are bored of me watching me put this screw in, start judging me. Maybe you need to lose a little weight there, Jake, which I do. And if you notice, there's no beer, which is probably part of the reason I'm making some mistakes. Um, <laughs> some of you might be sad. There's no beer, but um, whatever. Maybe I just haven't gone upstairs. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be completely honest. I haven't gone upstairs to get a beer, so that may happen at some point through this video. Here we go. We got arms. Floppy, floppy arms. Okay, moving along. We got some mounting. I put the uh, 
all studs in. Now we're going to put in this bent piece here. What do they call this? Front body mount piece. There we go. We learned something. All right, we're going to put this in. And then uh, we're going to keep going here. We're, gonna, we're actually not doing too bad. Probably just jinx myself there. All right, let's see. Matter? I guess it doesn't really matter. There we are. I'm going to stick it in the middle hole. Oh my goodness, there's a wood. That's what she said. That's it. You know what? I keep grabbing the wrong thing. You know, it probably would be easier to build if I had a clean workbench. But uh, I don't know too many people that have clean workbenches. Um, just saying. Just saying. All right, we need a nut to go on here. That is an awfully big screw that they're requesting here. Huh, okay. I won't question it. I won't question it. That's what they're asking for. Probably a reason. So, here's the question for everyone, if you're still watching. What should my winter build be? Now, I have uh, a Land Rover D90 from Sean's RC Adventure. I need to get a chassis for it. So, um, the chassis that fits this D90 is the RC four-wheel drive Galenda 2. Now, yes, I know you guys are probably tuning in to watch a drag car being built, and I'm talking about a crawler. But, I'm just kind of curious if I'm going to take the time to do a build series over the winter. What do you guys want to see? Um... Now, the Land Rover, I want it to be my long-term build, so it's probably going to be stretched out over the course of a long time. Um, so, but if there's something else maybe we can build real quick, uh, throw it in the comments. But there's our body mount. Body mount done. Okay, and now we got to put on some body posts. Now it's saying to trim the posts, so I don't think I'm going to do that right now because I have a feeling that the instructions are telling me to trim them for the the DR10 body, uh, which I don't have. I'm using a different body. So I don't really want to trim these right now. So I'm wondering if I should just put them in and uh, trim them once I get to the body part of this build which I just realized that is something completely else that's going to take up way more time <laughs> for my little deadline I've given myself Ooh, I'm starting to feel the pressure alright yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm not going to trim them right now but we will get this on the car There we go, all mounted up, and we're on to the back. All right, moving right along. 